Hello friends, welcome to Sojo Videos. Today is a long awaited video because it's related to glass paintings. Because today I'm gonna be painting a phone case. All right, so I recently bought a new clear phone case and you know what? Kind of wanted to spice things up and was like, hey, why not do an anime painting on the phone case? Wow, what a original idea that I definitely never have seen on TikTok before. I'm excited to get started on this and bring you guys along as I try to do this again for the first time and hopefully also teach you guys something along the way. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, you can always change your mind and it really does help out the channel a lot. It's so crazy how we hit 10K, did not see that one coming. Let's get started on the video. All right, so first we're gonna hop onto Canva and basically I measured my phone case and I'm gonna put in those custom dimensions in so we can print out this reference photo in the right size. All right, now that we've got a canvas the size of the phone case, I'm gonna put in some options for reference photos and we're gonna see what they look like. I'm gonna resize them to fit the phone case and kind of see how and where I wanna put everything down. Also, just letting you guys know, if you follow my Instagram, at Sojo Videos, I do a lot of polls there, interact with you guys more, and you guys can actually pick what I paint next and see some behind the scenes. All right, with our picked reference photo, we're gonna make sure to flip it so that we can actually see the right side when we paint it. We're gonna download it and then print it out. So me being really indecisive, I still printed out all three options I was kind of stuck on and I just put them with the phone case just to kind of see what they'd look like so I could make a final choice. I'd highly recommend doing this if you want to preview what the painting would look like on your phone. With a black Sharpie oil paint pen, I'm going to start outlining the reference picture. Make sure to put the picture behind the phone case so that when you actually put on the phone case, it's gonna be smooth on the other side that's facing the outside world. For some parts of the drawing where the lines were a bit thinner, I just tried to put less pressure on my pen, but I started to realize I was starting to get really hard and it was really streaky without putting a lot of pressure on, so I kind of resorted to using a paper clip or a pin instead to just kind of dab on and layer paint on. One tip also is that when I need to change angles, I just kind of flipped my phone case around just to make sure that I was drawing the straightest lines as possible. I also sometimes untaped my reference picture just to check on the drawings and make sure there weren't any blank spots that needed to be filled. And to erase the lines, if I made any mistakes, I used a nail polish remover and just put it on some Q-tips and rubbed away. I even realized I've been working on this for like an hour and a half. This is what I got to do. I tried to outline as much as I could with the paper clip pin thing and the marker. I'm gonna flip it open just to see what it looks like from the front. I think it's good to check. Just make sure you put the this part back on and ooh, he looks mad. I mean, I guess that's the point, but sheesh. I've also been looking at like the actual reference photo without it being flipped so I know what it should look like. I think just because it's so small it's really hard for me to clean up the lines as straight as I can get it to be but even with it like sketched out it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna still use my q-tips and rub and try to straighten out the lines as much as I can and just make sure to put up to the light. Double check there's nothing going through the pen and that it's you know a solid black line. Doing some research and seeing how other people do phone case paintings, because again, 
well this is like kind of a tutorial it's also me trying it for literally the first time so i'm just figuring out things how i go people use sharpies ultra fine point like permanent marker it's not a paint marker it's just a normal sharpie permanent marker but it's the really thin ones and people seem to be using it and it seems to be working so i'm gonna try using it to outline Todoroki's sorry i'm gonna try to use it to outline Todoroki's hair look so far i've done it rub my finger on it it doesn't look like it comes off which is usually the problem when you're doing glass paintings and why you shouldn't use sharpie permanent markers on glass paintings because it rubs off but it doesn't seem to be rubbing off on this which isn't glass it's just plastic so this might actually be a very handy tool right now so i'm gonna try using it special announcement here so if you guys didn't know i do have instagram twitter tiktok at sojo videos and i'm also starting to stream twitch.tv slash sojo live i'm streaming glass paintings art any other projects live so if you want to check me out you can go follow over there this is a painting we've been working on which is kind of cool it would be really appreciated and be really cool to see you guys there as well anyways that's it for the special announcement back to our regularly scheduled content I think the outline part is basically done and I think we can get started on painting. Woo! So with any kind of glass painting that you're doing or transparent painting that you're doing, you're gonna wanna start off with painting the smallest details. You do the smallest details first, then the big areas on top, and then the rest of everything else, just so that it shows up when you see it from the other side. So I'm gonna first be doing these little yellow buttons on his uniform and also his eyes. And then later on, I'm gonna move on to shadows, shading, and then the solid colors for the rest. Got the yellow paint to start on the buttons and also his eye colors, which is blue, neon bluish. I got green just, I think my blue is a little too blue for it. So I'm gonna mix colors and then also gray white and black. I'll kind of explain a little bit how I mix colors, but I do have a video where I explain more of how I think of when I'm mixing colors. You can also search up YouTube tutorials on that. It's way more informing than just me. I kind of just use instinct, but I'll just kind of show a little bit of my mixing process as well. Here, the shaded parts is kind of like a dark grayish. I'm just gonna reuse the paint and it looks similar to the eye color shape. So I'll put that in. I'm kinda scared. I'm not very good with like small details of a brush, but I'm trying my best. done the small details i'm right now what i'm kind of doing is raising it to the light kind of seeing if it passes through if there's any holes and then just painting over it again so make sure you're dabbing on the paint instead of just stroking over it try to find yourself a really thin brush for these parts and try your best to be as careful as you can basically next i'm gonna move on to the gray parts of his uniform i'm just kind of keeping and using the same paint that i have because i don't like wasting paint Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna be starting on the shaded parts of his hair, like the dark red parts, which I also think matches with the color of his tie. So I've got some dark red over here, and I'm gonna try mixing it with some brown or some tan to kind of darken up the shade. I've also got black if I need it, but I think it's not that great to use black if you don't have to, because it tends to be really overpowering. But yeah. This is why I don't like using black. I don't even think I put that much, but whatever, I'll fix it. Alrighty, I've done most of the details and now basically we've got the hair the skin and also the rest of his shirt honestly not bad for i think a first time with the shaded details my hands are so shaky but i've just been cleaning stuff up with literally just scraping with my nails or a pen next up i'm going to be doing the light side of his hair his shirt and his eyes which are basically just all white first base on I'm holding up to the light seeing where the light spots are and I'm gonna repaint over them when this layer has kind of dried all right next I've got the red hair and the red tie and I'm just gonna mix those paints together and put that on as well we're getting there, guys. It's so close. He's coming together. Looks moist. <laughs> All right, time for one of the most scariest parts of glass paintings, I feel like, for myself and for others, is the skin. I've explained it before in my other videos, I'll just briefly explain it again. How I get the skin color is basically a mix of these three paints. I've got, I use Artisos acrylic paint, unbleached titanium, parchment, yellow ochre, ochre, how the heck do I, I don't know how to say that. I also use white and brown, and I kind of just play around with the colors until I get it. Literally, that's what I do. There's also another method I'm pretty sure you can get skin colors actually by mixing primary colors, which is red, blue, and yellow, and mixing them together makes like a kind of like peachish, brownish color. You just have to adjust, but I'm not art singer for that, so I use these colors. And then I just, yeah, see what fits and just move on with that. So I'm gonna start doing the shadows first and then I'll do the rest of the skin and then we'll be done. Woo!
guys so much for watching. I think that brings us to the end of the video. As you can see, he is beautiful and amazing and I love this phone case. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and just watching me work through this. Maybe you guys can make one for yourselves. People have been DMing me on Instagram at Sojo Videos, their own pieces of art inspired by my videos. So if you guys wanna do that too, feel free to. I try to reply and look at my messages as much as I can. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more stuff. Make sure to put in the comments too if you have any other art projects you'd like me to try. This was really, really fun. I'm planning on making more, but until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.